Today, I'm going to share seven ways on how you can find new keywords for your website. I hope you already know what is a keyword and it is the most important thing from an SEO community wise and you want to rank your website for any new keywords or you want to find opportunities to rank your website for any new keywords. Okay, so this is a very simple, I would share seven ways by which you can find out new keywords and you might already know it but you may not be experimenting around it so without wasting much of the time i'll jump onto the screen and before jumping onto the screen do like share subscribe and comment on the video as it helps me in creating such wonderful content okay so first way to find out new keywords is again google search console google search console is your bible for seo it contains most of the details so if you can see for my website deepavaliseotips.com if i have to identify new keywords what i'll do is i'll go to search result okay click on search result you can select your filters for web for date and what you need to do is you need to go to queries and then in the queries you need to identify the keywords which were not your intention so to give an example first you need to select all the options so make sure you select the average position and average ctr and i have selected a page which is around the best hosting deals. So I have created a page around best hosting deals. Now on the pages you go, you can select that page. You can filter it as well using new on pages. You can select that page. So I have already selected it. You can select the exact URL or you can say URL containing. Okay, apply it. Now what it will do is it will give you the queries, top queries around it. Now, what you will identify is the positions. So you can check, say, some of the keywords for which your page is not ranking. It might be that the intention of your creating that page was not to rank for that particular keyword. However, you can use that keyword to improve your page or otherwise create a new page as well. So if I go with this one, if you see there are a lot of keywords uh, that are coming in. Now, one of the keyword I found was that people are looking for renewal hosting coupon code okay now it means that they have already bought it this page intention was for a beginner however there are advanced bloggers as well who are looking for a renewal code uh, so that they can get a cheaper uh, renewal uh, hosting plan now this is something i found out through this analysis and i will be writing a post around it so that will help me in getting more ranking for that particular keyword and with that i will find another set of keywords which i can use it to write any new blog post so this is how you can find out new keyword and you can also start writing new content on the same strategy second way to find out a keyword is using again google search console but with a different method so in this case what you can do is you know rejects or the the custom queries basically using a code so what you need to do is go to new new in the new select queries in the queries select custom rejects now here you can select your operation with which it will filter out the queries from your search console okay first method was to do through the web page or post the second method is to do through the uh, keywords directly now over here, if you want to find the queries which has a word starting with say best, then in the middle you don't know whatever word it can have and then you can leave it. So it will find out all the results which are starting with best. So best in the meaning, best SEO tools. Okay. Now it has found out two keywords. Now if you instead of dot means like a space so if you don't know how to write a regex then I would say to search it online there are a lot of tutorials around it but if you see if I have removed the dot then it has given me more variety of keywords as well. So that is how you can find out the keywords other way is uh, you can put a pipe as well say best pipe tool pipe SEO so let's see what happens. See, so it has found out all the keywords having tool, best, SEO. So like this, you can filter your queries. So these are called the regex operation. And this is the way you can find out new keywords. So say, suppose you have written a blog post around, say your website is around, uh, say health niche around exercise. However, you find a keyword saying best yoga poses for good strength. 
now your intention was to have uh, the training or the beginners but you find another keyword so it would be good to write a blog post around it so this is how you will search you will query you would understand uh, new ideas around it now the third way is google itself so again in google say if i have to search best yoga poses for back pain see so you will see okay health line and everyone has come in but this people also ask section so this section will give you a lot of new keywords it means that people do ask such content and there will be some content written around it but that might not be exactly related to it okay so what type of yoga is best for back pain what yoga poses to avoid with back pain if you go with the digital marketing field so if you say best seo tool for beginner so you will see okay now how to do seo for beginners okay instead of best it has changed the intent itself so it means that people are asking such questions and this is the set of keywords you can use it to write your blog post and you can create new contents around it now if you don't know how to write a blog post then you can uh, watch my video around how to, you can use the seo writing ai tools which is free it's a freemium tool you can use the free version or the paid version i am using the paid version to write content around it and i can definitely say the content is ranking in the google search so you can check out the video present in the i button fourth way to check is the auto search so if say if i have to again search the content back pain yoga exercise okay if i put a space i'll get set of keywords see so these are my set of keywords which i can use to write my blog post now you see i'm writing back pain yoga exercises it is giving me lower back pain yoga poses to avoid middle back pain yoga poses so there are variety of keywords that are present for that same keyword and google is giving you all the list of keywords which you can target it easily and it's only the research that matters it's not the content it's not how you are uh, to write a content you need to research first okay so research will be the key before writing your content and these are the keywords you need to keep a list around it if you are using ai tools to write a content make sure the list is embedded to the ai tools so that they can create the content and make sure ai content has to be proofread okay fifth way is again google in the google you will if you go down people also ask is one of the option and then if you go down this related search so this is another uh, medium by which you can find out new keywords and this do give keywords which are separate from people also ask and the auto search so people also ask is also there and uh, auto search is also there however there is a related search as well which is quite different from what you get in auto search so say back pain yoga exercise now it is giving me quite a yoga asanas for back pain with pictures so this keyword is not coming over here so you find out any new keywords as well as part of your searches so if you're targeting a post around yoga if you're targeting a post around say any reviews any product updates anything you can put a long tail keywords using related search as well in your content so sixth way is to go to google trends so in google trends again you can find out the keywords based on the country you can set your country location over here I've already created a free course around Google Trends with a Falendi course. Again, I'll put it on the I button and you can check out that course to understand how to use the Google Trends. Now, over here, if I have to again type say yoga, if yoga is my search, broader term, it's not something I'm looking to understand for this keyword, but I'm trying to find out some new keywords around it. So that's my intention. Okay. So I have created, say, I have Look, looked into the past 30 days okay it's yoga so past 30 days let's see now see i'm not sure like nancy ng gutamala yoga retreat okay so you are finding new keywords and these are trending now lo yoga discount code so some person might be there who is giving a black friday discount code etc so you can start your uh, keyword analysis using uh, 
we google trends as well and the last method is a forum website so fo by forum i mean you can go to quora or you can go to reddit or any other forum websites you can find out any trending topic over there and then you can go to the then you can research on the keywords so go to quora.com say so for this i am using reddit so go to reddit then you if I, if you are not familiar with reddit then do comment i can create a video around reddit but in reddit you have subreddits like communities where there are uh, specific topics where people discuss it reddit is very common forum used across the world okay people do enjoy in reddit uh, i don't like reddit much i don't read it much but to do some keyword analysis i do use it to find out some ideas so in reddit go to home you can search yoga if you have not used it this will give you the community so yoga over here then you can go to top and then from today you will get to know what is trending so reddit is also something which is trending people start discussing in here however in to, instead of today you can select all time and then in the all time you will come to know okay this post has got a lot of votes it is four years ago but you can read it out okay what has happened what has not happened etc there might be something which not, might not be related to your uh, website strategy but people do like to uh, continue on things which were trending in the past as well to read the content around it so mostly there are pictures around this but yeah whatever niche you select based on that you can get into it or this can also be used to find out new trending topics like what why when how we are question sort of a topics you can find it out similarly in quora as well you can go and you can check out quora and you can find out uh, some new topics around it so in quora what you can see there is a, on the left hand side you will see by time you can select past day or past hour so it will give you the results say what's trending now i have selected as a keyword so it will give you the result around it and you can uh, understand okay what keyword you can find it out so you can search your keyword say I am again interested in yoga, so I will go to yoga, I will say past week what is being trending or what has been asked, so yeah what is required etc etc but see uh, what is the path of knowledge of wisdom called, is it the knowledge yoga, raj yoga or indi yoga, this can be your title, you can write a blog post around it and people, it, it's not a high traffic keyword but it will help in building the authority for your website so you might have to write such content which can help in building the authority so this is these are how the ways we identify keywords i identify the keyword for my website deepavaliasutips.com i have other websites as well we use the similar strategy for most of our websites to find the topics and to find the new keywords around it i hope these ways will help you in finding out some new topics some new keywords for your website and improve your search ranking and i hope this video is useful to you all i will end the video now and uh, please do like share subscribe if you have watched till here thank you very much bye